Have you ever wondered what people mean when they say, what is the war weight of a village? Well, we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to show you how to find that out. But I'm also going to show you the secrets of how to hunt another war clan. Some secrets which I don't think most of the war clans are even aware of. Let's take a look. Prepare for clan wars. Hi guys, Spence23Dollars here. Welcome to today's episode. I'm going to be letting you into a few secrets regarding hunting war clans. Now you guys have probably, many of you have wondered what do people mean when they talk about war weight? Uh, the weight of a war base or the weight of a war clan? Well, this is something which is used to match one clan with another. Uh, and so when somebody's talking about the war weight of a village or of a clan, they are talking about a number which is assigned to each base depending on how well upgraded it is. Now to find out that number, look here, 72,000 in the top left. You would go to any replay attack on that base uh, on war day and that number in the corner will be displayed that will tell you the weight of the war base some people like to add 1000 for the town hall that's a waste of time you don't need to do that because you're adding it to every single one so stick to the number that it gives you but you do need to find uh, a replay in order to be able to see it because if you pick a base like for example this one it's not actually been attacked yet if you were to scout this base there is only the loot bonus visible there. Uh, this is of the enemy. You cannot see the weight of the base. Now I'm going to show you today how to use that loot bonus to calculate the weight of that base. Now that is going to make a lot of people's lives a lot easier. Here's one. This one has been attacked so you can see it has a war weight of 69 as you can imagine, the heavier bases are towards the top there, the more upgraded ones, and the lighter bases are towards the bottom. So this is the enemy, this is Toby, fighting uh, with one of our clans, LP5 Titan. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, let's have a look at a light base. This is a Town Hall 8. So let's have a look at the replay. There you go, 54,000 is the weight of that base, so that's a very light base. Now, up until now, people have been having to wait for a replay in order to be able to check what the war weight of a base might actually be. But today I'm going to show you how you don't need to do that, uh, and you can do it using the loot bonus with a very easy calculation. Uh, so the loot bonus is something which avail is available to you for attacking that base. You'll see that big number listed. Here's, here's, uh, in our own clan, you can also check the weights of your own bases or a clan that you're visiting. But again, you, you need to look at the replay. There it is, 69,000 is the weight of that particular base. Now, when you're checking your own clan or a clan you're visiting, you, uh, you do not see, here's another one, this one's 66,000, the weight of uh, this base, which is, oh, I didn't get to read the name. Uh, when you are checking your own clan, you don't even get told the loot bonus. So let's have a look at Anna's base. Uh, if we were to scout that, nothing. It doesn't tell us anything, doesn't tell us, uh, it doesn't tell us the war weight, and it doesn't tell us the loot bonus. However, there is a way around that. If I wanted to know the weight of Anna's base, rather than visiting her clan, I would visit her opponent's clan. So this is Toby's clan. Now let's imagine I'm now visiting Toby's opponent, which is Titan. Here we go, this is what I would be offered for attacking this base. 382,320, now I know that's a war weight of 59,000. Here is the level 7 table, I'm a Town Hall 10, attack, uh, looking at a Town Hall 9, you divide that loot bonus by 6.48 to get the war weight. Here's another one, 408,240. I'm a Town Hall 10, again looking at a Town Hall 9. Divide that by 6.48 and you get 63,000. And we can confirm that because this one has been attacked. There it is, that is the weight of this base. So that means you could visit uh, the person, you, the, whatever clan you want to hunt. You could visit their opponent and all you would have to do is look at every single loot bonus available and you could calculate the weight of their clan. Very sneaky, you wouldn't even have to visit their clan. Uh, and you don't have to click replay, you simply scroll through them all on the war page uh, and you, then you use the table which I'm going to give to you. I'm going to give you every single table for every single clan perk available. Now, why do you need a table, you might ask? Well, first of all, clan perks mean that there is a loot bonus depending on what level clan you have. And of course, there is a loot penalty depending on what town hall you are uh, observing what town hall. So if you're a town hall 10 observing a town hall 8, there is a massive loot penalty. So 
any of these tables will help you. You simply look at what the clan level is that you're in, What you are the red number, that's your town hall, and the green is whatever the town hall you're looking at. You scroll across, pick the number there, and divide the loot bonus by the number in that column. You'll see all these numbers, they're very, very easy, there is a pattern there, it won't take you long, you won't even need the table before long. So you would simply divide it by that number, and immediately you have that war weight, and you can weigh someone's entire clan without them ever knowing you were there. And it's even easier than visiting them, because like I said, you have to wait for replays when you're in their actual clan. If you're in the opponent, you don't need to wait for a replay at all. You can do it as, as soon as the war starts, you can weigh their entire <laughs> you can weigh their entire clan if you like to hunt clans. Now I don't think there's a problem with hunting clans, it is part of the game, part of the game for you to protect your clan from being hunted, and part of the game is a little bit fun to try and uh, chase somebody else's clan who you really want to battle with, and maybe they said, no, we don't want to war with you. People try and hunt LP clans all the time, we try and prevent it, of course, but again, it is part of the game. So let's have a look at a few more of these. Now, what you might wonder is, how would I possibly, if I was in a clan, there you go, look, I tried to visit Toby's clan and I was kicked within 30 or 40 seconds because I couldn't speak Japanese, which is fair enough. So how would I get all the war weights? How would I weigh a clan in such a short period of time, knowing that I won't be able to stay there for very long? Well, I'm going to show you another secret now. This is how to weigh a clan super fast. Uh, let's say you know they're about to spin. You need to weigh them really, really quickly. Uh, or you know their war is about to end or something. Then this is how you would do it. So you need to pick two bases near the top. You need to pick two bases near the middle and two bases near the bottom. This is rather than picking every single base, adding them all up, this is the way to do it. So we take an average and that will give you as close as you might need to uh, the total war weight. So here you go, you've got a war win bonus there, 362,888. You would simply divide that with the number from your little table, that gives you their war weight. Now, it's much better to do this from the uh, the enemy of the clan that you want to weigh rather than their actual clan. But you can, of course, do it by their replays, by visiting the actual clan. That is a little bit slower, a little takes a little bit longer. You have to actually physically go into the base. Whereas this way, look, you can see simply by tapping on the base, you immediately get offered the uh, war win bonus. And from that, you can straight away find out what their war weight is is so here we go here is a bunch of people from lp5 titan some of them have not been attacked yet so you there is no way of finding out their war weight unless you are in the toby clan lots of these bases here have already been attacked three star let's have a look at this one now this one you can see look the war weight of this base is 67,000. now i'm going to show you how to average this so that you can get the entire war weight of the clan. Here is one of our clans. This was one that was being, this is a spreadsheet, this was being done for an inter-clan war. Now what you need to do is throw out the outlying crazy numbers. So Fang Matt, his war weight is so much different to everybody else's, you add that at the end. So we take two from the top, the next two down, that's 71 and 70,000. Two from the middle, 59 and 57. Two from the bottom, 54 and 54. Add, add all six of those up, then divide by six. That gives you the average, 60.83 times by 20. That's all 20 players, and then you add that rogue number at the end, 100. So I get the war weight there by average of 1,316. If you actually add it up with a calculator, exactly 1,297, which is easily close enough to match a clan, and you were able to weigh that clan using that method in probably that would take, it would take you under a minute. So you could easily do that in the time it takes you to simply visit someone, and before they kick you thinking that you're a spy or that you're up to no good, um, and the great advantage of this is, of course, if a clan knows you want to hunt them by visiting their enemy instead of them, they will have no clue you're weighing them and getting ready to try and attack them. Now, of course, you're still going to need to visit them at some point because you're going to need to find out when they spin. Unless, of course, you guess by when the uh, war ends with their opponent or um, they're, they're spinning with the same war people every single time. That might not be true. They might be spinning with 35 one week, uh, 45 another week. But once you've got the war weight of all of their players, which you can do very easily, then you simply need to know what the bottom player is and the top player, and you can fill in the gaps because you know all of their war weights. Then you can modify the weight of your clan and spin at the same time, and you've just hunted whichever clan you want, uh, and they're very, likely, very unlikely to know about it. So I don't think it's unreasonable to hunt a war clan, uh, even though it happens to us all the time. Some people don't like it. It's part of the game. Uh, if it wasn't part of the game, then it would be totally unfair. But if you are going to hunt someone, just remember, play fair, have fun, but play clean.
Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Share these videos with your friends. I hope this helps you guys with your clan matching and even your clan hunting. You guys have fun with that. And until the next time, you take care. Send everyone!